Weekly, I talk to the guy. He is the Big E. He's from Tennessee. We're not allowed to talk about the volunteers. He made that very clear. I'm going to tell you what. If you're friends with him on Facebook, his, his live after either a, a Tennessee uh, volunteer game or a Cowboy game is classic. Even if after he's had a couple of uh, couple of drinks, it's freaking gold. Gold, Jerry. Fucking gold. It is fucking gold. He's Robert Elvis McLean, who's out of Facebook. Jail. By the way, no one's seen it because they got rid of it. However, his Facebook jail, totally worth it. Totally. Totally worth it. Totally. You know, and I believe Facebook might even agree with you because they let me out early. <laughs> and if you guys want to see it, send me a message. I'll send you the picture. I mean, you can't all be right, – that's right. Mila Kunis cool. Hey, uh, before we – before we hit into it, because I didn't want to talk about COVID, but we're going to have to talk about it because of what's going on in New England. But before we do that, favorite Van Halen album? You got you're a rocker like I am, man. Your 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 musical taste is pretty wide. Favorite Van Halen album? It's odd that, which by the way, I've been crushed all week yeah. at the loss of Eddie Van Halen. Uh, my favorite Van Halen album. It's probably uh, because of the timeline that I was that it came out would probably be 84. Yeah. Oh, that's not, you know, it's not by far their, their best. I think that's my favorite. I love, I love 5150, but, uh, if I had to take one women and children first was probably the one that I really, really loved early on. Yeah. Well, I said earlier, I said, it was probably their first one. That's the first one to grab me. And young, oh, of young David Lee Roth was, was awesome. Old David Lee Roth yep. is shit. So, all right. So I got you on record. 1984, and then maybe 5150. All right. right. Hey, we weren't going to talk COVID, but now they just shut down the Patriots uh, training facility. Uh, so obviously they've got an outbreak, and I know the NFL's got – I know they've got their contingency plan, but their players are starting to drop right and left. Uh, now, I'm not saying it's a – it's not enough. You know, I, I get it on the scale. It's not that much, but for the NFL, for the NFL it is. Uh, what are the chances that they shut down for a couple of weeks? The NFL. Your thoughts? Slim and none. You don't think so, huh? No. Don't don't start acting like Max. I'm not acting. Look, I think you they are, should play. I think they should play. Too. Come hell or high water. I agree with you there 100. percent But I'm. This is the NFL, listen, man. Okay, but listen, but listen. This is what's happened at this point. Has any game not been played? Well, we're getting Tuesday night football. This week, I know it. I it, so far, all I can tell you is, is that COVID has been a bonus <laughs> because we get Monday night football Tuesday or two games on Monday. Well, I mean, I'm trying to figure out where the problem. Well, is. I'll tell you what I see happening. You know, this, it, you know, because Major League Baseball had to alter their stuff, right? They had to yeah. alter their season. They had to alter the postseason, um, and and they put the DH into the National League. And I can see that I can see Major League Baseball doing that. I can see the NFL actually saying, "Hey." You know, we did the two games a month. I would say that's pretty nice. I mean, two games uh, on Monday. Do you see them doing that? Oh, no, I don't have a problem with them doing it. I mean, I, but what I'm saying, they're, if they modify it, that's fine. I, I think – I do think, however, come playoff time, that they will – it will be played differently than we've seen it in the past. I think if they can get to the playoffs, they're going to play it a little different than uh, – they might bubble it. They might. And I hand it to the NBA. They they did the bubble thing good, but they can afford to. And we talked about that last week. How to, well, yeah, but I mean, they don't don't half the teams didn't even decide to play. It's easy to bubble when you're just bubbling for the last. I mean, nobody cares. I mean, you're, basically, you're watching high school. You're watching basket uh, street ball. Right. Nobody wants to watch this no, shit. No, they don't. The ratings prove it. Yeah, yeah, that, that that and other issues. But yeah, well, that's. I'm not gonna get into that because. You yeah. just feel because I'll go on a freaking rant about yeah. about the NBA, so I'm not going to go NBA. Hey, how the hell does the Philadelphia Eagles win their first game in October and fucking and they're in first place? That is oh, utterly thank amazing. Thank you, by the way, for that. And they beat the 49ers, so fuck. How do you think I feel? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jesus I mean, I Christ. appreciate all that. But I'm telling you right now, today is the ultimate. There's no way I can lose game. Pittsburgh and Philly. 
And let me tell you how much I hate this. Yeah, I got to hear this one. This one, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shitsburg. Let me just tell you. I would be willing to pull for the damn Eagles if I thought they could win. <laughs> Why? That could come down to yeah. one game, man. I mean, that's one game. If they come, so you're telling me that if the Cowboys lose out in the NFC East by one game, and you're going to be happy that they that they beat the freaking Steelers? No, because as my wife will tell you, I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> I'm a live in the moment kind of dude. Uh, this shit's just right there. I just do this bit. If I see it, I'm like, man, I hate myself. I hate myself, but hey, these guys like that's the Rams. If the Rams have to win a game, I can, uh, or the or the Steelers, uh, or not the Steelers, the uh, Seahawks. Yeah, but uh, but speaking of that, how how serious do you think the Steelers are three and zero? I think if you here's here's what I here's what I tell you. I brought this up on on the board, and it's funny because I remember last year Dallas started out three and zero, and everybody was like, oh, yeah, but look who they played. They played absolutely nobody. The Steelers have played absolute trash. Right. I don't think any one of them, none of the teams they played and beat, has a win. Has a win. No. And ev- you know, and everybody makes excuses for the Houston Texans. Ah, oh, you know, they just they've just played for, uh, really good teams. How do you know? The Houston Texans have one thing: they have Deshaun Watson. The defense is nowhere close to what it used to be. No, J- and JJ, they JJ, have- it hurts looking at JJ Watt sometimes, man. Uh, what what right. could have been? Nobody's with him. worried about Will Fuller and David Johnson. No. Uh, so no, I don't. I don't. The Houston Texans aren't good. They're so you can't make that argument. You can't make the argument for the Steelers. The Steelers get the benefit of the doubt because they're the Steelers. Well, we'll see. Now, I don't think they're going to have any problems with the Eagles because the Eagles are a part of the East, and we're just one big trash bin right now. So who knows? <laughs> what? That's pretty harsh, but. Maybe it's true. But maybe it's true. Dude, I'm, I, I have nothing. The East is just absolute. I mean, I didn't expect the Giants and the Redskins, and that's right. Fuck y'all. I'm calling them the Redskins because that's what they've been my whole damn life. I haven't changed calling them from the Redskins. I crack up yeah. watching them say, this is back when, in 2014 when he played the for Washington the Washington football, football, team. football team. No, he didn't. He played for the fucking Redskins. It was the scans. Yeah, right? and they, they, there's, I don't, you know what, I don't care what they color them, what they paint them, what they change their uniforms, I don't care. They're gonna be the Redskins. Period. We're gonna get on another Jeez. ramp. We'll have to stop that. All right, yeah. But uh, yeah. I didn't expect much out of them and the Giants. But you know, Philly come in with what most of the experts said, one of the best rosters in football. I don't see it, but the experts swore up and down it was there. Well, I, and I, Dallas. We have, I mean, I did, I, in my wildest dreams, dog. I mean, I knew the defense was going to be suspect. I had no idea they were going to be so bad that they couldn't stop a high school. I think, we, I, mean, I, I, I think we talked about this when free agency hit and they lost Byron Jones. And I think you brought up, I don't know, yeah. that might. Well, he was our best DB. I, know. I mean, I, and we were already weak in that area. But I understood it because we wasn't going to pay him $13 million a no. year. They made him the highest paid defensive back in football. I get it. Did we need to sign Amari? Numbers would tell you, sure, because he's he's burning it up. But the problem is, is that we got three other wide receivers, and you drafted one, so you should have let him go. Yeah. Well, I think I think that's I think Jerry. I don't think Jerry did it though. I think it's Stephen. But that's when that's when you get the the fans actually are the ones who start calling the shots because they say they don't listen to the radio. They say they don't listen to talk radio. You know they do. You know they get. Yeah. The, you know well, they get the I, I, Jerry don't. Yeah, Jerry don't make anything. He don't make the moves. Steven does that along with uh, the other dude, the, the guy in the back office. But Steven does the contracts. All Jerry does is give him his, you know, okay, I agree. But the thing about it is, is – Let me go have a press conference. I don't know what more they can do. Yeah, I don't know what more they can do for Dak other than to – you know, because I, I, there's this mindset, I guess, in Dallas is to see just if he can throw for – Seven sixty seven hundred yards from shit of the season. He's gonna get. I don't. He's gonna but, get his. But money. we can't win. He's gonna get his money. Damn. Yeah, but he we can't win. I tell you how he won't get his money. If he throws for six, if he throws for six thousand yards, you know what that means? We're not even eight and eight. Uh, yeah, but I, you know, I tell people that. Hey, man, you want Elliot's the one you want to be the workhorse. But I, again, that's right. old school football. I have said that since the day that kid came on that we drafted him. 
I won't, I didn't want him at the time, but now that we got him, I was in love with him. Keep going. I wanted to feed him. Uh, Jalen Ramsey. Feed him. Yeah, feed him. Feed that boy. Because I'm telling you, and they say, well, you know, you get behind, you can't run. Dude, 14 points in the NFL ain't behind. Mm -hmm. That can be made up. That can be made up. And, and why you can say anything you want to about our team as a whole, offensively, they can score pretty mm -hmm. much at will with anybody. You know, as long as they, you know, but they bump turnovers. Same thing did Tennessee in yesterday. If you fumble the ball, if you make any mistake at all, our defense cannot recover because there is no way they can keep up. I, I watched that highlight with the with the volunteers and Gorantano got when he got pressured and he threw that one threw that one to try to throw it away. I was thinking, you know what? First off, Rob's probably lost his shit, and second of all, lived live another. Okay, okay, no, 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 college. I'm saving it. <laughs> I already talked about that with Jason. All right. I know, but damn, I'm just telling you, you trust me when I tell you. Garantano, while I commend the boy's heart, he tries. I'm just done with him. Uh, the Alabama game last year was enough for me to just to never see him wear orange again. And then he then he kinda you know, he pulled it together and done some good stuff. And and near the Georgia game, he just loses it in the third quarter. I mean, up until then he had played a he played a pretty much spotless game. But trust me when I tell you, Tennessee is going to be good for the next couple of years. All they got to do is get this quarterback situation. Georgia's got the best defense in college football right now. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that I'm telling you the truth. Well, Not because good. of what they did to us, but, I mean, it's it's NFL loaded that's, top to bottom. That's next weekend. So, that's, you know, Jason and I yeah. talked about that earlier. Hey, uh, yeah, we're kicking Kentucky's ass next week, too. So I'll, 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 make sure, I'll, I'll make sure to have you and Bill yeah. Harp on here. Last thing, and Jesus, <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm saying this Tuesday night football. Uh, yeah, well, that's fine with me. Hey, man, it's just keeps adding on for the week. Uh, well, how impressed are you with Josh Allen, man? 12 touchdowns, one pick, and Buffalo's actually looking pretty good, man. They're looking, I'm not saying they're going to look 90-esque, which is a good team, but uh, they are looking pretty good, and they seems like they hit it with uh, Allen. I think they're prop well, I, here's how you know you hit it with a, the quarterback when you hit it. A lot of times it's the head coach. The head coach can control the, the kid's surroundings. He limits what he puts on him early, and he just lets the kid graduate. Because, you know, winning builds confidence. And the, and the Bills won a lot last year. Um, defensively, they were already they were ready. And that's, that's really in the NFL. If you come into a team, unless you're Patrick Mahomes, you know, you come into a team, you've got a, you've got a good defense that's not going to put you in a lot of bad situations. And an offense that's this that you're is catering to your to, as you grow, and uh, I think he's for real I, now. Will the Buffalo Bills be for real when it comes playoff time? I don't know, because I'm telling you right now. The other night, if uh, Bill Belichick had Cam Newton, uh, I don't know that the Chiefs win that game because Bill had completely Bill does shit that only Bill can yeah. do. Yeah, actually, and it doesn't matter who's playing either. Yeah, well, I, we Hoyer used to be a 49er, so and he makes a lot of those throws. A yeah. lot of those throws he'll try to force in there, and I did think, man, you know, Cam. First of all, Cam wouldn't have thrown that. Cam's a Cam's a hell of a quarterback when he's healthy. When he's healthy, well, they got he inside, is. What did they, yeah, yeah. Then they get inside the like the they were down inside the ten like three or twice, and they turned it over. Right. Hell, Cam just Cam can run over the damn Chiefs. Yeah. Their defense is not that no. good. No, they no, there's not. But helps when you have uh, Patty Mahomes out there. So yeah, I'm telling you, he's amazing. Dog. Every every Sunday, I watch him Monday wherever he's playing. He's absolutely amazing. Twenty five. Fuck, he's twenty five. Shit, that's, that's, that's a lot of years. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I get him on every Sunday. Dude, he's worth it. I'm telling you, watch his live after uh, the Cowboys and the Volunteers. They're freaking. They're gold, gold, Jerry. Gold, freaking gold. gold. Rob, thanks for coming on, brother. Anytime, bro.